Hello everyone, it's Alexander here. Right now, I'm going to be featuring one artist in this video. Also, I do want to mention that this isn't my 8th art review video, since that one is still in the works. Of course, I will be featuring 10 or 11 artists in that same video. Anyways, now that's taken care of, let's move on to the review. So, the person I'll be reviewing in this video is named Tohatsu. He's been an active member on DeviantArt for exactly 11 years, but he started drawing at the age of 9. Also, looking at his displayed art gallery, he's done a lot of amazing drawings that I really consider to be very top-notch. By the way, I do want to mention that Tohatsu has a Tumblr blog where he stores his similar art, but on that site, his uh, his username is uh, uh, sorry about that, uh, Zakar Salad. Now that I'm done with this introduction, let me head over to his art gallery. Tohatsu has a total of 65 divisions in his art gallery, and it turns out that many of them involve fan art from well-known series, and he also has original ideas that involve his own characters, scenery, and other things as well. The first picture I'll be checking out is titled Bonobo, who also goes by Princess Bubblegum from Adventure Time. Anyways, I find the character's appearance to be very appealing, and I really like the fact that he, that he did this in his own art style. Also, I find it interesting that he used various types of colors without changing the movement of the shading. Overall, I find this piece to be very impressive and nicely drawn. Moving on to the second picture, which is a traditional color doodle. Honestly, when I first saw this image, I assumed it was an original character that was designed by the artist. But when I look at the title of this division and glance at the tags, I realize that this character is named Ashley, who is also from an established video game series called Warrior Wear, which was also made by the... Um, by Nintendo. Anyways, the drawing itself looks really good. Of course, it does differ from the original design, but I will admit that I find this drawing to be more interesting, mostly because of how the way the artist depicted Ashley in his own vision. Also, Tohatsu has done a spectacular job in the shading aspect, especially since you can tell where the light is originally coming from and where exactly the light is being directed on the character. By the way, I am fully aware that this is a traditional piece, but I am quite curious to know what kind of materials he used to color this. Based off from the textures, I am speculating that he used watercolor markers to help him out uh, with that, and possibly a micro pen or a sharpie to assist him with the, with the inking. Overall, he did a phenomenal job, and his presentation on this piece looks very nice. Also, my favorite part about this illustration is how clean and detailed the black outlines are. Now carrying on to the third piece, which is a drawing titled Random 2 with a caption of a random cat like girl, and I do want to point out that this drawing was originally posted on 2008, which happens to be the same year where I've done some of my anime fan art drawings of characters like Goku and, and Conan. And my god, this looks really awful. But anyways, enough about my old drawings. So the drawing itself right here is okay, but if you look closer, you can definitely tell that the character's face doesn't look completely symmetrical. If you look at the reference right here, you'll see that the person's face is completely even, and both sides share the same length. Also, I like the fact that her eyes are very detailed, but the measurements between them look slightly off. Honestly, I suggest to use a ruler to balance the eyes in the same position and angle. Also, the more I was observing this piece, I realized that her breast seems to be drawn slightly wrong. Whenever you're drawing them, it's important to know that the female's breast is not meant to be round, but supposed to be curved. Also, many breasts are depicted to be going downward because of all the force from Earth's gravity. One more thing. It's also a good idea to slightly separate your character's breasts from one another so that they have plenty of room to breathe. Also, sorry if my critique sounded a bit too harsh, but I will assure you that my main intention was to give you, you the uh, solutions to help you improve and polish off your mistakes, but, I, but I'm pretty sure you're already aware of that. Even though this piece looks, you know, okay, I'm not too afraid to mention that it looks way better than my old drawing from 2010. So, the fourth drawing is a piece titled Don't Feed the Plants. I actually find this picture to be extremely well drawn, and the artist has done a fantastic job in capturing the flat colors, especially with the limited amount of outlines shown. Also, I really like the design of, of the flower, but its shadow is what grabs my attention the most, since it really foreshadows an event that may involve some serious destruction. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that this scene was from an animation short that was made by the artist from his um, film, film school. I actually checked it out on YouTube, and I was incredibly impressed with the level of detail that he put into his project. And I'll be looking forward to seeing more of his future animations. Also, I'll be leaving a link to his video in the description below, so that many of you can see his wonderful masterpiece. 
Next is a fifth drawing that features Wendy, who also appears to be holding the big L to the audience, which also stands for loser. Anyways, I'm aware that this version of Wendy was based off from the internet trend where a lot of artists have been depicting Wendy with a smirk personality, and because of that, the attention behind it started to grow very rapidly online, especially on both uh, Tumblr and Twitter. But moving on, the artist did very well in capturing smug Wendy's personality. Also, the character's anatomy looks nice, his use of shading looks very decent, the outlines looks very clean, and the background he illustrated here looks somewhat in somewhat interesting. Also, I do want to let you guys know that Tohashu has actually uploaded two transparent images of Wendy, one that showcases less lighting, and the other one that features more uh, more lighting. Honestly, if I were to pick, I would go with the one with less lighting because it really shows how sinister she really is, as if she's up to something no good. But yeah, I really like this one a lot. So. For the sixth piece, which is the last drawing I'll be covering in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this drawing titled Min Min Kick, and Min Min happens to be the same character from this video game called ARMS. Also, it turns out that Hatsu has mentioned that he loves ramen, and who doesn't? My favorite one is the chicken flavored ramen, and I'm just curious, but has anyone else besides me tried this brand before? But anyways, one of the things that captures my eye the most is Min Min's pose, and that's because it looks extremely dynamic and he has so much action built up into one single frame. Also, he has done a great job in carefully, carefully placing the shading on the character's body, while keeping the colors in proper flow. By the way, this kind of effect that he illustrated here really makes the fight scene to be very impactful, and her curly hair looks very nice by the way. Anyways, in my honest opinion, I would give this drawing a 10 out of 10 for how amazing it looks. Now that many of us have reached to the end of this video, I'm happy to give Mr. Tarotsu a rating of 5 out of 5. I know some of my audience may be confused since I did heavily critique on his uh, drawing of that one character from 2008, but the main reason why I gave him this rating was because I was actually focusing on his artwork that dealt with his current skills. Also many of his most recent pieces looks pretty damn impressive, but again, that's my opinion, and I know others will share a different one uh, than mine. By the way, I want to say thank you so much for everyone for watching this video. And I personally want to thank Mr. Tarasu, uh, Mr. Ta Tarasu, uh, for letting me review his work on my channel. So, anyways, peace out, and I hope all of you have a great day.